Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the US indexes. We'll start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Thursday, uh, October 15, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you are more than welcome to hit the subscriber button. At this point, we have crossed 100, uh, uh, no, not 100,000, but 1,000 subscribers, I was about to say. And that is fantastic news. So hit the like button as well and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So this market has is expected to fall. The, if you want to see my analysis for the tech stocks, which I did uh, previously, you are welcome to look at that and you will see that most of the big tech stocks are about to go to lower price levels. Most of the indicators have turned around there all over bot and some of them are already in the red you can see amazon you can see microsoft you can see facebook and the other ones are not doing very well as well facebook netflix is is the best one and but that is also significantly uh over at this point if we look at the technical indicators for the s p 100 we are at 76 and this is just the market that is going to fall stochastic is that uh, uh, it's about to turn around and the MACD will also follow when the stochastic will follow. The Bollinger Band will probably find a resist uh, support at this moving average in the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is at 3,378. A breakthrough from there will go all the way down to 3,200. So, well, in... Worst case scenario, we'll go towards the 200, the 100 moving average, and uh, other scenario, we'll go towards the 50 moving average. I do expect to go to the 50 moving average and then bounce, and that is at 3,391. Uh, so that will that will be make more sense. This was basically where we basically oversold this market. I. I don't expect this to rally from here, especially because we are in over, we are significantly overbought. So this is basically a market where you expect, uh, where you um, basically hunt for value. Wait for this market to go towards the 50 moving average, and then the market will uh, most likely bounce from there and will go to uh, 3,600 after that. So. That will probably take a few days, probably next week, something like that. Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has also, it has rallied significantly from the lows here, at nearly 9%, which is fantastic. It is showing signs of exhaustion. We are significantly overbought. The casting is turning and so is the Bollinger Bands. And at this point, we are just going to head south towards the 50 moving average probably later today tomorrow on friday it is going to happen there's no reason for this market to all of a sudden break to the upside we are looking at something that is going towards the 50 moving average something like that if we break through that then we'll go all the way to the 100 moving average that is not expected and then we'll go to these highs that is most likely what is going to happen here to happen here and then we'll break the the top of this casting so this is basically value hunting buy at the dips and then and then enjoy the ride so if you look at the nasdaq nasdaq same thing we are significantly overbought at this point we are waiting for this market to drop towards the 50 moving average before continuing our increase up towards uh, 12,600 or 12,700 that are so well. So we'll break this top eventually. We just need, we're just way ahead of ourselves at the point. We need to pull back towards the 50 and then we go higher. You can see that we are overbought. This probably will go down towards 50 or 54, 55, and then we'll continue higher. MACD will turn around here and then and continue higher. This market was looking for stimulus and the probably the reason, the reason why most of these stocks completely exploded on, on, on Monday was due to expectation of stimulus and stimulus is not coming. So it will take 
longer for this market to clear this uh, top it will do that because it's basically made in uh, to grow so so it will continue growing but at this point value hunting just buy it at the dips and then then make profit from there don't buy it now hope you find this uh, video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hitting the bell button and the uh, like button in order to help us grow this, this channel Good luck and thank you very much.